Mexico will have clear rules for judges, but not for policemen. And in places like Michoacán, the police are the problem. The courts are the problem. The absence of the rule of law is the problem. In the plazas and the streets, in Apatzingán and Zitácuaro and Morelia and Tierra Caliente, signs of the emergence of a parallel state, signs of a microcosm of what happens elsewhere throughout the country, in places where the government doesn't govern, but rather la familia or the caballeros templarios do, where the norm isn't the law, but rather the expression plata o plomo, silver or lead, where instead of calling the police in search of protection, people prefer a cartel or a criminal group to do so, where self-defense groups have burgeoned in the absence of a state that cannot carry out its most foundational task, the monopoly of violence. And the worst thing is that we have become accustomed to this being the case, the accepted and tolerated dysfunctionality. We believe that unbound privileges and excessive rent-seeking and the absent or intermittent rule of law are an unchangeable part of our national identity. We don't understand that the entrenchment of the clientelist, corporatist, rent-seeking logic in Mexico is greater than in other countries, and it's a defining reason of why it is so hard to grow and to change and to prosper. And I believe this is an unacceptable situation. It leaves us out of the fold of rapidly growing emerging economies. It condemns 50 million Mexicans to live in a rich country that is poor and unsafe for them. People are still waiting to see the effects of the reforms, and I think those effects should not be measured by how many front page glowing articles about him we read in the Financial Times, but by the effects of these reforms on citizens and consumers. <laughs> and for me, telecoms reform will be a triumph the day that my internet service <laughs> actually provides the speed that it promises in its contract, <laughs> uh, the day that my cellular telephony bill is comparable to what you are paying here in Berkeley, and education reform will be a success when Mexico's PISA evaluations begin to climb instead of remaining stuck at the bottom. And energy reform will be a success if and when the monthly bill I get from the Comisión Federal de Electricidad is comparable to what you pay here, and on and on and on. Um, maybe my standards are high. <laughs> They're the standards of a Democrat. They're uh, the standards of a social Democrat, someone who believes in markets and state intervention. They're the standards of, those who of someone who believes, why should we settle for less? Uh, and if that critique is bothersome or seems pessimistic, I'd rather live in the world of creative indignation than in the world of cheering on a presidency that still has a lot to prove.